First of all, my name is Erna Blooms, and I'm a brand expert and growth action coach. I'm a founder of bloomingaces.com, and um, I'm if for, for those of you who's new to me, I'm on a mission to connect. Actually, before that, I'm gonna mention about my background. I have uh, eight, 19 years, actually over 19 years of experience launching um, global brands, multi-seven figure and billion dollar brands. Um, and so I left corporate world because I will, I have, I'm on a mission right now to connect uh, over 10 million entrepreneurs uh, with their superpower to activate their fulfilling business and lifestyle. Um, because I believe that you know entrepreneurs uh, need all the support. Uh, so based on my experience, I can help them to make their impact and create this uh, fulfilling lifestyle for them as well as business. So hi, Katia, thanks for joining. I'm just waving for everybody right now. <laughs> so don't forget, don't be shy. You guys, I'm gonna make this kind of interactive today if you don't mind, okay? I'm gonna be talking and at the same time, I wanna be conversing with you all because at the end of the day, um, what I value here is connection with you guys and hopefully I will be able to give you guys some takeaways by the end of this. Just a few takeaways that you can apply in your life, okay? So um, again, um, so I actually been nicknamed like the brand DNA whisperer by my clients and peers because um, I have my signature um, framework that helped them, which is uh, combining branding and business growth to help them, um, to help them grow into a sustainable um, path to success. And I'm very passionate about doing what I do for my clients, my team members, my peers, and just creating friendship um, with, with everyone uh, who I consider aligned with my core values, okay? Now, um, the first thing that I wanna ask you guys is, um, do you guys know what is a brand? Okay, what is the first thing that you, you think about? Like, can you like drop in the chat if you know, when I say branding or a brand, you know, what do you guys think of? Could it be a logo, could it be like, what is it? Do you guys know any, any like what, what comes out in your mind when I mention about brand? Anybody? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, wait for a little bit here and to see that if anybody is brave enough to say something. <laughs> There's no mistakes here in my live event, okay? So don't be afraid. <laughs> because I would like to um, basically create understanding and awareness what brand is about. And if you Google it, of course, there are so many definitions about brand. Okay, so James is the brave soul here. Thank you so much, James. He said a brand is an image representing a company or small business. That is totally correct, right? Good job. <laughs> so a brand, um, it is an image. And in my definition, it's, um, anybody else wanna take a step at it? <laughs> because everybody have different definition and I think it's great. I think, I don't know, I wanted to guess. It's great. James, you have a great start there, okay? So to me, this is like being in the uh, branding space for, for over 19 years. I actually come up with my own uh, definition of brand. I believe that brand is a recognizable identity for an audience, okay, uh, for an audience who understand, okay, who understand and buy into your the entity's purpose, core values, mission, or product offerings. Okay, let me repeat that. So a brand to me is a recognizable entity to an audience who understand and buy into the entity's purpose, core values, mission, or product offerings. Okay, so which means that this is not, brand is not, it's, it's not really just about the, the owner of the brand. It's more of a, like the audience, like how is that impacting the audience? Okay, so the audience has to understand what the brand stands for, okay? What the brand is offering, what the brand's core value is so they can align themselves with them, okay? But because without that, all this effort about branding is really, really like not, not gonna be fruition, uh, uh, producing anything, okay? A brand, it become a brand in when the customer or the audience understand what the brand stands for, okay? So I just I wanna make sure that's clear. And the second thing is, why do you need branding? Okay, why do you need branding? Now, based on what I just shared with you guys, you know, do you, anybody wanna, you know, guess why you need a branding? Now, do, do you, does anybody need any branding, you know? Let's ask ourselves about that. Do we, do we, you know, is everybody need branding? Yes or no? <laughs> okay, the answer is 
not everyone needs branding okay if if you love to live alone in the cave forever okay then you do not need branding but okay if you are planning to build connection with anybody okay with anyone with especially building an audience or building a business then branding is very important essentially branding is about creating connections okay making people understand who you are you know what you stand for and why they want to kind of buy into you or be your friend even you know or be in your journey right everybody is um is longing for the connection and that's how actually we make impact how we grow actually a lot of I don't know about you guys, but for me, you know, like I think the purpose, you know, like doing doing something that uh, I love to do, the, my purpose, you know, that is part of my journey, right? And I think everybody's looking for that purpose. And when you have that purpose, it's normally involving more than yourself, okay? More normally, right? So let, let me see if everybody agree on that. Do you guys like connections, like making connection, making friends, right? Or building a business or building, um, you know, like an audience, right? If uh, you guys are like, you know, have put the heart or something, you know, saying yes, right? I think essentially branding is about connection. You know, I just, it, and then this is the part I noticed that a lot of people do not realize, okay? Do not realize that we are actually, believe it or not, each one of us are a brand, yeah? and uh how do you brand yourself okay and if you guys follow have followed me and uh, my recent posts i have put something and it's got a little quiz here so do you guys know the the ingredient the ingredient of a lifetime brand okay if you just look at my post okay, you can cheat a little bit there <laughs> but there is one thing that i post recently about lifetime brand so what is it the ingredient of a lifetime brand anybody remember what i post don't worry, I'll give you guys the answer if you guys don't know. <laughs> no worry at all. Give you a minute here. Anybody want to take a stab of what is a good, you know, uh, what is the ingredient for a lifetime brand? I'll give you guys a big shout out. <laughs> if you know. Zizu, you don't know? I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> I'm just kidding anyway so let me give you the cheat sheet so good character okay good character is your lifetime brand so think about it okay there are people in your life i want to guess to think about who is in your life right now right that you feel have a good character and you love following them okay who do you love following okay so remember, good character is a lifetime brand. Now I want you to think about someone in your life, doesn't matter if they're famous or not, okay? Who is that person that make you, you know, feel like you wanna follow them? It could be a role model, okay? It could be someone that um, like near, like it could be your spouse, it could be someone. So drop in in the chat if you don't mind sharing. Like uh, you don't have to name names, but I want you to, 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 to name like the characteristic, like, what character do they have that make you follow them? It could be, let me give you some example, okay? Integrity, it could be courage, right? It could be like dependability, thoughtfulness, courage, maybe, uh, empowering, inspiring, right? So think about those, those characters. Now, I'll give you guys a little bit of time to think about who's that person that you feel is someone that you wish to follow or like you just love them as a friend or you just like it's a role model so for me uh, some people okay cool Zizu thank you for sharing your wife you said she is good in everything I'm so proud of her really oh that is so sweet see so that's great like she's good in everything now can you describe a little bit more Zizu like her character is she kind is she generous you know what are the characteristics that she has that make you fall in love with her and actually made her your wife, right? So think about that. What character does she have? How about you, James? You know, do you have anybody in your in your mind immediately? Like it could be like for me, for example, Simon Sinek, right? Because he's inspiring, you know, and he is courageous to speak up his mind and to actually speak up for uh, employees or team, you know. So to me, that's like one example for character 
And then the second person that I think about, okay, woo, hello, welcome, welcome to my IG live event. Okay, so Zizu said that the character that his wife has is so kind and helping people always and she works many jobs. Awesome. So I say kindness. So kindness and seems like her generosity and hard work are her characters, right? So that's amazing. Now, I also have another, um, uh, anybody else want to share about who they feel is a good character? I have, I have reason why I'm asking this. Okay. Um, so for those of you join, I was basically asking about a uh, good character is your lifetime brand. And I want you to think about someone in your life who has good character and what are the characteristics that they have that you can drop in the chat that make you want to follow them or be friends with them or like just buy into them. Okay. So for me, like I have a mentor named Selena Sue. Okay. She was, I, I actually uh, heard about her back um, in two, wait, five years ago, five years ago, before I started my entrepreneurship, when I was still commuting to my corporate job. Okay. Oh, thank you, Zizu. You learning from me? <laughs> Great. I'm glad. Visionary. Oh, that's a good one. That's a very good one. So a visionary is a good one for sure. So yeah. Um, yeah, you guys can keep dropping in, you know, like all the characteristics that you guys believe um, that you, you love, that you want to follow. Okay. So I was basically sharing about um, Selena Su, who is my publicity mentor. Now she, the, the, the really funny thing is like when I met, when I heard about her, she was on podcast. And this is the first thing she, she said. She said that, uh, that caught my, my attention was, she said she was working for a nonprofit organization for uh, $40,000. And then she built a business, you know, she built a business uh, in two years, making six figure. And this is the part that caught my, my ear <laughs> was the fact that she was an introvert. I'm like, wow, if she can do it, that's amazing. You know? So then I immediately to reach out. Self prospect. Yes. Self prospect is a good one. That's a, that's actually like really something that I would like to dive in more like in the future when we talk, because I think self prospect is just a little bit underrated. I feel like we need to be more self aware about that more. Okay, I think integrity is part of it. You know, when you have self-respect, integrity is not just integrity to other people, but integrity to ourselves as well. Do you guys agree? You know, because sometimes we we forgot to look within. We always look out and not check in with ourselves. So that's kind of like a consistency that I would like to make an awareness too. You know, like this is this is my favorite quote. I will share. Please, yeah, please share anything. You know, when I'm when I'm talking about you know all these things, if it's something jumps out in your mind, feel free to drop in in the chat. I would love to you know kind of converse with you guys and make this very fluid. And if I don't, I have like a list of things that I want to cover. But if we don't cover everything, no big deal. Okay, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna try to do this live uh, event like every other Friday. So then um, we can continue our conversation. We're just gonna have like. Uh, ongoing conversation throughout um, you know our lifetime so we're building this connection for a lifetime I would love to if you guys you know would like to do the same right so uh, I was I was mentioning about Selena Sue and she was such a good character I actually thought like oh my gosh you know she is so successful and then um, I reached out to her that night and I'm saying hey you know I really admire your podcast um, interview today and it really inspired me and, and so on and so forth and I wasn't expecting any response at all you know and she actually ended up replying the next morning I was very shocked and I was like asking for her freebie <laughs> and then I have like some email issues after that and she was very patient in getting making sure I got that freebie that she offered and I thought that was special for someone who is in her level, you know, for some influencer and she actually, uh, um, you know, spend the time, maybe not her, but she has her team to help me to make sure I got the, 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 the thing that she promised. Now to me, that's kind of like a thoughtful and integrity. Her character stood out to me at that time. So I start taking basically her courses and she's like my mentor now. And the amazing thing is as an introvert, I thought it was very cool that she actually um, be able to be a publicity mentor. She was featured in Forbes, you know, she was featured in um, Entrepreneur, Mary Claire, and you name it. There's a lot of things that she was featured in. And I was thinking like, wow, that is amazing. That's because of her character. Now, okay, so let me see. Don't be afraid. Uh, this is a share on the favorite quote. Don't be afraid if losing people. Be afraid of losing yourself trying to please everyone around you. 
Oh my gosh, that is so good. Let me repeat this one. Don't be afraid of losing people. Be afraid of losing yourself, trying to please everyone around you. Yes, amen to that. I really, really, really think everybody should really write this down. <laughs> oh, it's amazing, okay? Because I think growing up, you know, when we were little, I think we were like in better off condition <laughs> because we were like, uh, some of you are maybe stronger than the other, but we sometimes, I noticed myself done this before, you know, where we actually um, lose ourselves, right? Trying to like be up, like I would say growing up we're like becoming like a parent pleaser and then turning into people pleaser. So you, the bottom line is, you know, at some point in your life, you will realize, hey, Cameron, thanks for joining. And, um, so we basically realized that at some point we get, I don't know if you guys have had this, 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 <laughs> this uh, moment in time where you feel so sick and tired of pleasing people that they will never, ever be happy. <laughs> and at the end of the day, you're just so tired about doing that and you're just like, oh, forget about it, you know? And I'm, I did, you know, it's like, I'm just going to make myself happy and that's it. And the moment actually I did that is when things change, you know, so you're actually finding yourself. I actually left my toxic relationship about two years ago. I was married for 18 years and I had to make that tough decision to actually leave. Okay. Now, um, so that moment to me is my biggest growth because I finally found myself again. Okay. Found my, like my, 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 I was able to find my desire to grow. I always love to grow. And I actually, I don't know if I, you guess, my name is Erna Blooms and that's the name I gave to myself. It's like a gift to myself that I do not ask anybody else permission for the first time in my life. That was about less than two years ago when I said, I'm Erna Blooms. I actually have a video in my, my wall about this where I actually make that moment of change where I loved growth. And that's why Bloom is just the perfect name for me. And I have never felt, um, I have never felt so connected with myself, with my name, my last name, that like even my married, I mean, my married name or like my, um, my, uh, my childhood name, you know, uh, my maiden name. So finally Erna Bloom is when I actually click. So yeah. Just, just a little share there for those of you who's here. Um, so Zizou shared this quote. Don't be afraid of the dark, little one. The earth must rest when the day is done. The sun must be harsh, but moonlight never. And those stars will be shining forever and ever. Let me repeat that. Don't be afraid of the dark, little one. The earth must rest when the day is done. The sun must be harsh, but the moonlight never. And those stars will be shining forever and ever. Oh, that's beautiful, Zizu. I did not know you're a poet. <laughs> See, it's so Zizu is like so you know you know you're so funny. Like sometimes like you you share with me like a few things that I thought was very very thoughtful and very very you know, and you like you're not sure if you you are um, making the right mark, but I think you are right on. You know. I think um, to me, like there's a lot of time that's, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, this like, brand, right? In the olden days, in the olden, you know, like the teaching, right? Sales always have to be like a hard sales, you know? And uh, brand has to be loud, you know? So I personally kind of trying to like uh, rethink this whole, the whole approach about branding, okay? Um, sometimes less is more, as we know, right? But sometimes it's like, this is what I want to mention about good character, right? Sometimes good character is hidden, is hidden inside the brand. And we are so afraid of sharing that good character we have into our brand, into ourself, you know? And sometimes it takes someone else to pull it out. So like for me as a brand expert, that's what I do <laughs> all the time. It's like I pull out, you know, those superpower, right? This is what I'm saying when I say I like to connect them with their superpower. They have. Each one of us have the superpower inside of you. Now, do you know what is your superpower, your, your, your character strengths that actually, you know, really make a great impact for yourself, for other people around you? That is what I want you to actually focus on, right? Uh, that's what I'm focused on, you know? I wanna know, you know, like what is your superpower? Now, superpower, um, I have, um, I wanna kinda reintroduce this one. Superpower to me, it, it consists of three things. 
number one. It's um, your superpower is uh, your purpose, your why. Okay, why you get up in the morning and do what you do. I hope you love what you do, and if you don't, you should ask. Okay, what is it that you love to do, right? Then secondly is um, second part of the superpower is your genius, your expertise, your training level. You know, uh, you. I'm hoping that you are actually trained to do something that you're good at that you love, right? If not, it's never too late to start to find that. Start building it now. Okay, I have. I know this artist. I forgot the name. Her name. I want to say Ruth or something. Um, she. She was married and taking care of kids, and when she was 70, I think I want to say like she was 70 years old, is when she started her career, okay? She started her career at 70 years old, becoming an artist and becoming famous. So it's never too late to start. <laughs> so yeah, um, so secondly, okay, so I'm back to my superpower number two, is the genius, the expertise level. For me, my training was in the art, design, you know, concepting and business, like business growth, okay? So those are my expertise level. So that's my genius area. Now the third thing is actually, you know, like after this, I'm gonna ask you guys, okay, like what are you think your 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 a superpower? And I can be like random shoot out, you know, all, all this thing in the text, okay? That you, it's a work in progress. I want you guys to get out of this uh, with something. Um, so number number three, the last one of the component of superpowers to me is your legacy. What is your mission? Okay. So let me repeat that. Okay. Number one, number one, it's your why and your purpose. Okay. And number two is your genius, your expertise level, your training, your credibility. <laughs> and then number um, three is your legacy, your mission. What is this impact that you want to create? Now, right now, if you guys can take a moment while I'm still talking <laughs> about this, I'm going to give you examples. Um, what is it that you think is your superpower? Okay. It's not an easy question. So if you don't know the answer, it's okay. Okay, if you don't answer, but at least write it down, those three elements, okay? What is your why, your purpose? What is your genius, okay? And what is your legacy that you want to leave behind? What do you want to be known for by people, okay? Whether you're still alive or after you're gone. <laughs> what is it that you want to be known for, okay? I actually, like, if I, let me give you my example. Then maybe you guys can come up with something that you, you have, okay? So what is your power? So put down, like, your why, like, what do you... It just maybe like what do you want to be known for okay it doesn't have to be like elaborate and this is not a test it's not like there's a competition here i just want you guys to first thing come to mind i want to be known as like someone what you know so for me i actually used to think like oh i want to be um so successful i want to be this and that right and then at the end of the day you know what i really want recently is like i want to be known like when i die <laughs> I hope, you know, I, people will think of this, it will be like this. I want to be remembered by someone, you know, or people that I was there for them when they needed friend the most, okay? When they are struggling or like when they are needing someone to get to the next level, you know? I want them, I want to be part of that circle that do that for them, you know? Like, hey, you know, if I remember Erna Bloom, so she helped me bloom to the next level or grow to the next level, you know? And... I don't know if that's a title or anything like that, you know, but I just felt like I think more of a more of what I do. I think my love language is action. That's probably why that's why it matters to me so much. Okay. Now can you guys think of something that you guys um let's see here. So Zizu said uh kudo to Zizu <laughs> uh, and everybody had that answering here. So let me see. Zizu is a brave soul. He is saying first. He said endurance. Okay, this is his superpower. Endurance, strength. Or resilience, awesome. Observation, speed, agility, sensitivity to what other people are thinking and feeling. Oh my gosh, this is like wonderful, like balance. You know, you have the strength and sensitivity. And then when you say speed and agility, what do you mean by that? Like, is it like um, physical or is it mental? Can you elaborate that? Speed and agility. So yeah, he has this superpower, endurance, strength, resilience, ob observe, observation, speed, agility, sensitivity to what other people are thinking and feeling. So yeah, that's that's really great, you know, those are good um, you know, super, superpower there, you know. And I also want to talk about, you know, like how, why you need branding, right? It's like to build that connection. The, okay, the both, both speed, uh, he said mentally and physically. Great. 
So that that was a like great like superpower, Zizu. It's amazing. You know that the 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 ability to have that uh, sensitivity to what people are thinking and feeling. I think that's called like an EQ, right? And to me, like um, I, I'm so amazed with people with EQ. You know, and um, I did not know there's uh, such a thing as EQ before. And someone had to point out to me that I do have some you know pretty good EQ. Um, so I was like, oh yeah, that's really cool. So uh, thank you for sharing that, Zizu. Yeah. And then another thing is, um, do you know what your, um, what the, what would you like to be remembered? Okay, you know, what's your legacy that you want to leave behind? So if anybody else want to, you know, share about that, please do. And um, wait a little bit here. I don't know what people see on me, but I can, I can feel that. Wait, hold on. <laughs> and I don't know what people see on me, but I can feeling feeling that, and I'm doing it in it too. Yeah, the legacy. Yeah, I was asking about legacy. These are, I'm a little confused about that one, <laughs> but I got what you mean about uh, I don't know what people see on me. Like I think this is why. Okay, you know what? Today I can help you with that. You know, um, I think you you're a good friend for sure. You know, you you you're there for people oh the question oh, someone said yeah i was asking your superpower so there's three things one uh, uh you know what is your purpose you know what why you get up in the morning and like what what is it that you love to do like for me my purpose is connecting with people and making friends next example so what is the first question okay the second question is what is your genius you know maybe you're good at like drawing maybe you're good at sales or maybe you get uh, you're good at sports you know so that's what your genius is you know what is your genius? Oh, for me like i like con concepting okay and then number three number three is basically um what is your legacy that you want to leave behind or what do you want to be known for so those are the three questions that that to me combine becoming your superpower and that is something that you will carry with you forever to build your fulfilling business and lifestyle so this is why i feel it's so important to understand your superpower and i actually i'm here to help you if you guys want me to help you with that finding the superpower you know um we can converse here and i would like to show you how to get there right so let's say zizu right now so while while um um some of you are thinking still thinking i am going to address zizu's comment here i don't know what people see on me uh he said you know i i've known Cizu, okay so Cizu and i Cizu and i like follow each other for a little bit while so we we sometimes have dm with each other so i kind of know you a little bit so um you know one thing that you can do that i did is i asked like my closest friends you know my closest five closest friends including my sister actually you're not supposed to ask your sisters or your brothers or your like immediate spouse you you should ask for friends that will basically if, they, if you pick up the phone and said, hey, I need to talk to you, they drop everything and call you, okay? So those are friends, like really close to you and loyal to you. And ask them, why are we friends? Okay, then write down. Okay, write down why they're friends. Um, why you, I mean, why, why you are friends. And then be a devil advocate and ask them deeper. Okay, ask them deeper. And say like, so if they say, for example, one of my friends said, oh, because you're sincere. And then I was like, interesting. You know, why did you say sincere instead of nice? Okay. And then so 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 you basically kind of dig deeper. So you want to know what they say about you because then it will you will from that point on you learn about their core value that they value and you understand about the core value that bring them value. I don't know makes sense. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So that's a practice for you. Zizu. If you want to like, call a couple friends, even some closest family member, like for example my sister, I said pretend we're not sisters. Pretend we're friends. What is it that I'm bringing to? You know uh, your life that make us close like this even when we are sisters you know so tech try that so zizu i'm like one of the friends i'm gonna tell you uh i think okay number one you i think you, you're a good photographer for sure you know and i think you 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 like to connect with people okay and you like to bring value like you will send pictures you know and things like that you know so i think you you're a giver you know for sure and then i think you have good following in your your ig too and i feel that you people will not draw into you if you're not that kind of person you know you're a giver you know so that's that's from my end now, i don't know you 100 percent very well but i hope we'll get to know more and um so i'm gonna read 
like lineage pilati <laughs> um so this one she said purpose is to keep shredding the classical plati okay present pilates through lineage pilates for women oh yeah 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 for women over 40 i'm visionary with bringing classical pilates to household with teaching the real essence of joseph pilates method legacy is to continue lineage pilates for generation to come with transforming people's life physically mentally emotionally and spiritually wow so this is amazing awesome awesome you guys so follow lineage pilates if you are looking into you know learning more about uh transforming you know life your life physically mentally emotionally and spiritually so she is very passionate about this and i actually in the same group with her with selena sue which is amazing okay and i would like to um you guys check her out this is thank you for sharing that and um so yeah i think you you know each one of us can can learn to have like a uh, deep 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 yeah you're welcome <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so let's continue about uh, the lifetime brand discussion we talk about. Um, so basically, you know, why do we need to build a lifetime brand? Well, two reasons. Number one, you know, because, hey, Sam, thank you for joining us. Welcome, welcome. Um, so we're talking about lifetime brand, Sam. Uh, we're like talking about why do we want to build lifetime brand, right? Um, by the way, they're going to be recording. I hope I don't mess up the end here to drop in the recording. <laughs> so I will be posting the recording on story later in case some of you want to catch up. Um, so what do you need to build lifetime brand? Um, it's because, you know, like one thing is building a brand. It takes a lot of time, energy and also funding. Right. And why would you not want to build your brand for a lifetime? That's number one. That's a business answer. Right. Number two is, you know, lifetime brand is like, you know, we're gonna live forever like you know in our lifetime not forever <laughs> i mean our, throughout our lifetime and you want to your brand to basically represent who you are right you cannot be pretending to be someone else and be happy let's just not kid ourselves you know so we want to be very authentic about ourselves i think being authentic uh, as who we are is like the most like fulfilling things you can do for yourself that's the self-respect that we talked about earlier or mentioned earlier so I felt that, you know, I think having that lifetime brand that's really, really capture who you are, you know, that's uh, people value because of who you are. That's to me is very fulfilling when your existence, okay, is being um, valued number one by yourself. Okay, it starts with you valuing yourself. And then from there, it kind of grow that, 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 that persona, it grew from you. Okay, and the people kind of attract towards you. Okay, so that is the beautiful thing about your personal lifetime brand is you attract people for being who you are. You embrace your gift, you self-perfect yourself, you know, and um, I actually have this quote that I um, rewrote because I think if you, <laughs> I'm progressing to you guys, you know, first of all, if you notice my accent, I am from Indonesia, I'm Chinese, and I'm a bilingual. Grammar is not my strength, my strength. Let me tell you, that's my improvement areas. Um, also, being on live show is something that I'm improving on. I'm trying to get comfortable in, in, in speaking, you know, uh, in live shows like this, uh, because I believe that I have a message that um, can, can connect with people and can build something uh, that's greater beyond me and you. Okay, so that's the reason why I'm coming out here and talking to you guys. Um, you all come, Zizu. And um, so, so this this lifetime brand discussion is basically i want to talk about um what was i talking about just now <laughs> no, i love my train of thought oh yeah i was going to share with you um the quote that i perfected actually i used to say progress not perfection but then i corrected myself recently i was like you know what i'm gonna have a new motto now it's called embrace progress to reach self-perfection okay so let me repeat that embrace progress to reach self-perfection why won't we try to self-perfect ourselves right now i'm not saying perfection according to other people's definition is perfection for ourselves you know for our definition which is basically being your best you see so that's kind of like my new quote that i want to kind of introduce you guys like 
like when we're coming out here, you know, um, trying to create our brand, right? Trying to, uh, whether you're a person, you know, like it's a personal brand, like yourself by yourself, or a brand like you're building a product brand that's growing, like becoming like multi, you know, million or like billion, whatever, you know, either way, okay? Each one of these have characters, have character branding, I should say, which is a good character. Now, for example, I'm a big br uh, brand, uh, a loyal fan of Apple brand. At least used to be, but you know, right now I'm a little bit questioning about this. <laughs> uh, but Apple, when Steve Jobs was still around, like, you know, people talk about, oh yeah, Steve Jobs not the nicest person or whatever, but he has good character that I really respect, which is courage, okay? Courage to pursue what he believed to be beneficial for many people, which is personal computer. And look at where we are now. Without him being very, very courageous to be strong and resilient in what he's doing, okay, we will not have personal computer. I will not be talking to you guys on my iPhone right now or create my business. And I will not ever reach my fulfilling lifestyle that I have currently. So I feel, okay, that sometimes, you know, you have to be, I think I recently posted about it takes courage to believe in yourself. I think that's what he was doing, Steve Jobs. He had courage to believe in himself. He pushed through. He might not be the nicest people, but sometimes, you know, I sometimes feel that we also, as a group, as a community, need to be open to people's vision, you know, bigger visionary people around us. Our friend who has big vision, don't really kill them, support them, okay? So the reason why Steve Jobs has to be, you know, I'm just guessing here. I don't know him personally, <laughs> but I've seen like different type of movies and things like that. But all I care about is what he has done for our community, for our world, for my career, for my life, right? So I'm thankful for him to be that resilient, okay? To be that courageous, to be that strong, you know, to, to make sure, you know, that he actually pulled through with his, you know, uh, vision about personal computer. Okay. And I think I personally feel like everybody else around him should check themselves. You know, you know, they are so not used to seeing someone with this vision, right? Now, now that the great thing is he set the path for us to understand this example. Okay. Now, so next time, if you hear someone in your life having big, big dream, big vision, you know what? They could be the crazy genius that will change the world later. So do not discount them. Okay, so make sure to support them. This is actually one of the things that I want to be remembered for also being someone, a good friend for bigger, big, big vision people. Okay. I, if you tell me like, I want to be billionaire and you're like starting from nowhere right now, I will not say that's impossible. I will never do that. Okay. I will just say, okay, so what's your next step? <laughs> so how are you going to get there? All right. So that's the better question. So we have to learn to ask the better questions. Does that make sense? So, so that's the thing, you know, I think it's, it's both ways, you know, someone with a vision needs a circle of friends that are actually supportive, okay? And then, you know, like, for example, like if you if you have a vision and then people around you just like question and ridicule you and you're not like getting support by it, at the end of the day, you know, you cannot, you, that those vision is not just your vision, it's a God-given vision in you that you feel so strong about, right? So sometimes you just have to be like, may, maybe perceived as like, uh, like not caring or like ignoring someone people you know? but it's not it's not that you know I feel sometimes I have to be maybe not the best or like the kindest because I don't want to listen to them because I believe in what I'm seeing and I need to push through you know I need to push through because I'm seeing a bigger benefit for more people later on when I push through with my vision okay so sometimes we just have this little tip of iceberg that um, we can only like we, we can see it but other people can only taste a little bit. So it's, that's another thing that we have to do is our job is as leader, as visionary, right? We have to learn to actually communicate, paint the picture, maybe hire someone <laughs> to paint the picture for people to understand visually. Okay. So that's basically like what I think um, I can cover today is like, um, hey, Katia, thanks for joining. So, um, yeah, so we got to continue this conversation for sure. I have a lot of things to talk about with branding and I hope you guys enjoy this this live event. This is the first one I'm doing and about lifetime brand and I would like to continue building upon it and I'm actually going to um, have a little announcement, um, two announcements for today. 
is I am going to create, this has like been my dream actually, I would like to create a retreat, okay, retreat for, uh, just like an intimate retreat of 25 people in June, okay, in June, uh, I haven't set the date yet, and I will set the date probably most likely in mid-April or so, um, it's a group of 25 people, I'm still deciding whether I want to make it like just women and then men separately or together. So I'm still figuring that part, depend on the attendees. Um, I actually gonna do a two day retreat, five hour each. Uh, it's called Brand Your Purpose. And this is, we're gonna dive in more about what we talk about today, but it's more in condensed form. And actually um, I wanna create like something that uh, will be actionable so you can actually apply it right away. Because I believe, you know, like, um, I, have, uh, I believe that everyone should be able to connect with that fulfilling business, you know, that their, their superpower and then create fulfilling business first, right? Fulfilling business first, because you have to work and make some money for a living, right? So you have to make this business fulfilling for you first. Then if you have that fulfilling business, that's when you can actually create that fulfilling lifestyle. Now, I'm not saying that you always have, all of you just have to run and, you know, um, create your own business. Some people are meant for corporate world. Some people are meant for like, uh, entrepreneurship so it's fine you know you just have to know which one is it it's you right so we can dive in on like both both section of that you know there's a lot of things to cover and i'm very passionate about talking about this and um thank you thank you for all the love for being here uh for my first one <laughs> and i actually uh the, the gift that i was going to give you is in my link on bio actually i have um um my publicity mentor selena Sue's uh uh, a, a gift which is publicity calendar that you can apply for your business is basically uh, her initial tips on how to reach media you know if you will have a purpose if you have a story to tell or share you want to be able to fe be featured maybe on the um, in, in the media because that's how people can learn from you it doesn't matter you know whether you're like you have your own business or not okay if you have a thought or some expertise level that can benefit people you can write to media Okay, and you can share your story and who knows what they'll take you, you know? And so this this calendar is in the media, the my media bio, the bio on my, um, I mean the link on my bio, <laughs> I can't talk right now. Um, so it's in there, you can just uh, opt in and then download it. Um, and you, you can, she will she actually walk through how to reach out to media and the different topics that they like per month. So I'm actually in the journey doing that as well. I'm pitching into some medias and then uh, I'll keep you guys posted about how that goes, okay? Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, writing is not really, again, because I'm bilingual and grammar's not my strong suit. So writing is like, it's something that I have to improve on because I believe that I have a lot to offer and I just need to gain my capacity, up and grow my capacity in that in that you know copywriting i do love writing by the way i just something it takes time for me to kind of sort through my my thoughts <laughs> and um i think being with you guys here helps too thank you for your support thank you for pushing me to to go out there and being supportive and i really appreciate you um we will do this again on let me see uh friday february 12th okay february 12th i'm gonna try to do the same time if this is good for you guys um i'm gonna do it at around one o'clock too and for like about 45 minutes, okay? And um, all right, so if anybody else have any question, you guys can drop it in. Uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit in case anybody have any questions, whether it is about the bonus, whether it's about um, my retreat or um, branding in general, or um, you can also DM me. If you like cannot think of it right now, you can always DM me your questions or suggestions on like future topics that you feel like, oh, I'm really, really want to talk about this. Can you clarify this? I would love to address it for you. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to wait for like another couple minutes. Then we're going to say, uh, have a good weekend. <laughs> yeah. Happy Friday, by the way. You know, you know, the funny thing is, you know, as entrepreneurs, as myself, I don't see weekend as like a weekend. Like to me, every day is like a weekend. Um, like, because I love what I do. I just, you know, arrange my schedule right the way I want it and I mean there are pressure of course you know yes you too see <laughs> you too there for sure in Selena retreat I'm excited by the way that um, on March 3rd is my birthday so that's like my treat for myself it's like the Selena retreat <laughs> yeah so hello sorry we are like at the end of this uh, show but we're gonna be recording this someone just joined us thank you uh, for my uh, 
uh, for joining us here at the live event. We're going to do the next one on uh, March, sorry, March, did I say February? March, um, March 12th, Friday at one o'clock. Okay. So what's my plan for this weekend? Writing, <laughs> writing more articles. I'm actually trying to submit article about branding and tips and like mis branding mistakes or like uh, uh, four crucial steps before you start branding. You know, I'm actually writing articles uh, right now to a couple of um, uh, media. Like one of them is Thrive Global. The other ones are uh, for Entrepreneur.com and Forbes. So wish me luck. Hopefully they will, you know, they will feature. Um, yeah. So my goal, my goal this year. Um, let's see. I have my whiteboard right here. Let me just read. <laughs> I would like to, you know, I have like a stretch goal here. Okay. Um, don't laugh at me. Like I said, <laughs> I have a million dollar revenue, revenue uh, goal because I was inspired by this show called undercover billionaire who did that in 90 days. And I'm not going to be like over pressuring myself, but I'm just putting it out there so that I know what kind of, you know, things I have to work on to bring value to people. That's a lot of value I have to build, you know? So because at the end of the day, that's what we want to do. Yeah. Impact. <laughs> Right. So, you know what? It, it's one of these day we should do that breaking down, you know, like remember we talk about, you know, in this video, I have a video about this, you know, big goals, right? I have big goals. So, are you going to overwhelm yourself, you know? You don't have to overwhelm yourself, you know. This is your own goal, right? You know. Um I actually feel I I feel excited with big goals, okay? Small goal doesn't excite me. Big goals excite me. Just like when people come to me with big goals, like, oh my gosh, I want to be part of it, you know? So because I like kind of putting plans together and then actually taking action for it. And at the same time, like there's this art about going for the goal, but at the same time, like, like self-care yourself. You know, there's this art about it, you know, that I think is wonderful, but you know, don't get so consumed with the goal and you forgot being human. Okay, <laughs> but at the same time, don't forget being just being human and forget about going places, you know. So to me, I have that that kind of art that I'm mastering and I am just find that to be exciting. So, so yeah, that's my, my big goal is, uh, you know, what the revenue is like, I'm just putting it as a number so that I can break it down and see like my planning wise. But what I really would like to eventually, my, my goal is hopefully be able to um, get media feature and so that I can grow my impact. You know, I'm very, my business has been run like more like a one-on-one -on -one VIP type, you know, where I help people with my branding and business growth coaching, which I really love, by the way. But at the same time, in order for to do that, you know, I have a lot of energy that I put out that I can only take on like maybe, maybe like four or five per month, you know, something like that. So people have to be on a wait list or something, you know. So, but I would like to be able to, there's a lot more entrepreneur that I would like to help. I would like, you know, my mission is like I mentioned earlier. I want to connect with 10 million, I want to connect 10 million, over 10 million entrepreneurs with their superpower to build, to activate their fulfilling business and lifestyle, you see? So that's why, that's my long, my lifetime goal is that, you know? And um, I actually don't want to stop at 10 million, obviously, and it's going to be more, but I have to put a number there so that I can get motivated to like, just keep going, you know, just keep going and um, every day counts, you know? And so the last takeaways that I wanna just recap from today, if you don't mind, is, okay, so number one, get to know your good characters. What is your character strengths? Some of you already know today, okay? What's your character strengths? Now, um, second thing is make your daily connection with your character's strength, okay? And if you don't know your character strength, ask your friends and then see, double check and see if you are right on about what you think your strengths or superpower are. If not, you know, ask them and then write it down and be the devil advocate so that you can dig deeper and like, what is it your, your um, superpower, okay? Number three is, remember, progress to reach self-perfection. So whatever it is that you do, just make progress every day and to reach the self-perfection. Now, other, other people's perfection is your definition of perfection. And you know what that is, okay? So thank you again for joining today. Um, I hope to see you guys next time. Um, uh, same bad channel <laughs> um, here in IG um, at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on March uh, 12th, all right? So we will definitely announce that again as we get closer. 
and thank you so much Zizu for staying until the end and if you guys want to check out the publicity calendar it's on my link on bio feel free to download it when you get a chance uh, make sure to download it um, by this month or March I should say before they go away <laughs> um, and then try to apply it into your business because you you, you know your your gift is deserved to be um, broadcasted and known by people so don't be shy just get yourself out there you're gonna stumble forward with me and feel free to join me in the journey okay thank you so much I'm gonna end this now thank you again and have a lovely weekend